What is the molecular mass of chromium-3 acetate, you ask? Well, you've come to the right place, my friend. Let's take a look at how to do it. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the element I see in the compound, right? So I see a chromium, I see carbon, I see hydrogen, and I see oxygen. Next then is to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at chromium, there's an invisible one there, so there, that means that there's one chromium atom. For carbon, there's two carbon atoms, but that's in one acetate. Uh, you have three of them, uh, three of those acetates meaning. So therefore, you would have a total of six carbons, right? All you have to do is just take that subscript of carbon and then multiply it by the outer subscript to find the total. So that would simply be six carbons. Same thing for hydrogen. Take the subscript of hydrogen, multiply it by the outer subscript, so that's nine. And then oxygen, same thing. Multiply those two values, so that's six. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. Where do we find that, you ask? Well, good question. Periodic table, so let's check it out. Here's all the masses. 52 for chromium, 1.01 for hydrogen, 12.01 for carbon. And oxygen is 16. Those masses represent molar mass in gram per mole or molecular mass in AMU. All right, the magnitudes are the same, but the units are different. But quite honestly, who cares? Let's just plug it on in. So chromium is 52, as we mentioned. Carbon is going to be 12.01, hydrogen is going to be 1.01, and oxygen is 16. Now all we have to simply do to find the total mass of each element in the compound, we just have to simply now multiply this row and across. So the total mass of chromium in that compound is going to be 52. The total mass of carbon is going to be 6 times 12.01, which works out to be about 72, 72.06. Then for hydrogen, same thing, multiply it on across, that's 9.09. And then oxygen, uh, again, 96. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, all you literally have to do is now just add up this particular column. So when you add that up, you get a total mass of 229.15. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units here are in terms of AMU, atomic mass units. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hopefully that helped you out. And if it did, help us out. Like and subscribe, and even tell some of your classmates. All right, we'll see you soon. Take care.